writing the music for this film was a very special experience for me. When um, Sam Kelly, the director and writer of the film, asked me to immerse myself in the world of, of this heavily traumatized and damaged individual that are uh, carrying tremendous amount of pain and trying to subtly uh, put music and sound to it was um, a very emotional journey for me to find and search for that the right frequency, the right sound to highlight the humanity and the compassion towards our character over those very harsh and, and violent images. Um, so very dark scenario that you try to find some light inside of it. Musically, it was just a blast to have all the people I worked with in the team and the wider team and musicians. I just got so much help and support and encouragement uh, which allowed that project to um, happen the way it happened. Um, a lot of mahi, a lot of uh, aroha went into that and um, again I'm extremely grateful to be a part of it. Roseanne first approached me and said, uh, would you like to compose a score for a World War II period piece slash creature feature in an 80s style? I was like, hell yes, um, that would be a dream. And it was a dream, um, what I'm very grateful for. So thank you, Roseanne. If you would like to check the film out, it's on all good streamers and the score is on Spotify. Just type in shadow in the cloud. It's a real ride. Kakite. In terms of the score, uh, obviously I'm drawing on lots of horror tropes and I was inspired by classics like uh, Bernard Herrmann's score for the Hitchcock film Psycho and also his score for Vertigo. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it, there's mystery, there's horror and it's also a classic period piece. Um, and um, I really loved working on this film partly because it was such a great team and it's so good putting together uh, a story that is excellently told. I love that the horror genre demands a lot of the music and the music's not shy. It's big and bombastic and there are, there are lots of really intense moments that were a huge amount of fun to put together and uh, to observe uh, audiences reacting to in the cinema. Anyway, I'd like to really thank APRA for putting this competition together and also for the nomination. Cheers.